Camera Warden, who worked at the facility, says Combs's life could still be in danger there. The reports about... Oh, hell. What do you think? It's prison. You think your life is safe in prison? Crazy as hell. Yeah, y'all, this is a uh, shocked plan on YouTube. Uh, this video is so make sure you go subscribe they're pinned down in the description go check them out and uh, tiktok hit the follow button if you're new tap the screen like crazy my name's patrick if you like true crime i'm live every single night so y'all hit the follow button thanks for the ghost guys youtube hit the thumbs up button hit the subscribe button do all the things. Let's go. Diddy allegedly facing harsh conditions and threats in what has been described as a hell on earth prison seem to be intense. Such prisons are notorious for their poor living conditions, including issues like cockroach infestations and overflowing toilets. Oh man, man, I feel so bad for them. However, rumors about Diddy being targeted by inmates, presumably due to unresolved conflicts from his past, have fueled speculation about his current circumstances. The idea that his fame and previous dealings may have made him a target in prison adds a dangerous layer to an already grim situation. It's important to note that the special housing unit is a, is a lockdown, 24-hour lockdown unit. Um, the MDC Brooklyn is a high rise. The vast majority of the floors are general population floors. But the special housing unit is a 24-hour lockdown facility. So this is for Mr. Combs' protection. Um, his incredible worldwide celebrity combined with the allegations, the charges now, yeah. indictment course of acts of violence against women make him a very attractive target so, all right obviously, oh man need to safeguard him joining me very quickly and i want to circle back to you kiela about uh sean puffy combs aka diddy <laughs> sean puffy combs spinning 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 i mean this guy is a master promoter okay and the allegation is that combs aided and abetted his son in this attack you heard about him catching the sexual assault on the little designer dude yep right him imagine you got two seven foot tall swole guys in dresses corner you in a hotel in a bedroom you finna be scared right so like, <laughs> like I, I distinctly remember going to a diddy party all the waitresses topless right I want you tell me. No, you're. you're no, the best. I want you to tell me. You really are the best. You're proving it here today. As much as I'm proving it, you're proving it. You're proving it. Um, yeah, that wasn't the thing. It wasn't. People say that he lost fifty million dollars. No, no, that's not even close to what happened to this dude. And until you understand what happened to the dude, you don't understand what happened. Like, no, not they offered him fifty million and he turned it down. Who gonna turn down fifty million? Now I've had to turn down fifty million dollars four times, four times, just to protect my integrity and that virgin hole I was telling you about. Right? Yeah. Uh, Cause P Diddy be wanting the body. And you got to tell him no. You got to tell him no. You got to tell him no. This is crazy. Pink Tree Frog, thank you for subscribing. I, I did. Oh. I did. See, I got the receipts for everything I'm telling you. That's why I can say I'm Kid, I need a note. You here, get your note. Thank you, okay. sir. Now to a CNN exclusive, the Department of Justice may be taking steps to indict music mogul Sean Diddy Combs. Yep, they Two did. Sources close to the investigation tell us that a federal grand jury may soon hear from Diddy's accusers. Since November, Combs has been named in eight civil lawsuits, seven of them directly accusing him of sexual assault. I mean, in the beginning, like the first three and a half years, he was, I mean, like the first three months, three, four months, he was really nice. But then after that, he was, he started being a so Shocking new accusations. His alleged victim humiliated and traumatized. Diddy's legal troubles just got bigger, less than 48 hours after his somber mea culpa. I'm not asking for forgiveness. Truly sorry. Extra has obtained this. Oh, my word. Explosive new 15 page lawsuit filed by model Crystal McKinney. She claims he got her drunk and high with a joint that was late. Man. She says was a narcotic or other intoxicating substance. Rest of a former SU basketball walk-on player, Brendan Paul, who's partly, say, of a sex trafficking oh, no. investigation. 
of rap mogul Sean P. Diddy Combs. Paul is accused in court documents of being Combs' drug mule. Oh, I remember when he got arrested. Tracy, thank you. What they're looking for because it was gone on the premises of sex. Lord. By the way, uh, TikTok, if you want to watch these videos, like you can actually see the video if you come over to YouTube. Just search The Mystery Project. It should be pinned on the screen. Can you guys see it? It'll be a P. Diddy mustache right there. The Mystery Project on YouTube or the link that's in the description, like in my bio, should take you over there. You guys come subscribe. See if you can do it. They're looking for pictures of girls that may appear to be under age. Oh, hell, you can burn it for that. Context. Like they in the act. That's what they're looking for. So now they're going to go through all those devices. If somebody got any kind of weird fetishes that they got little kids or little girls or something like that. Man. Any kind of pictures or any kind of photos that they took out of that. Great to hell man. with you. I, I, and you know what's you know what's so crazy is, bro, that all these stories has been around the industry for a long time. All these industry people know that Diddy been acting like this and doing this and yo it's a lot of stories that goes around in this industry about not just him other people jimmy Iveen. ain't nobody talking about jimmy Iveen. oh he yeah got sexual charges and everything on him but he got those publicists that's keeping it out off of cen is keeping it off the major news uh reports Nobody's Damn. talking about that. Well, the best way to keep it off all that stuff is for the information to just be true. <laughs> oh, that's a good one. Come on, y'all. I got I got zingers tonight. This is something that goes on, man, that they're going to push up under the rug and a few, a few years later, Bad boy, five, six, seven, eight will be out. Man. I, I, and you know what's you know what's so crazy is, bro, that all these stories has been around the industry for a long time. All these industry people know that Diddy been acting like this and doing this one night. Uh they never said anything. They never bring it up. When they were at, at home at Kim's house on 110th Street, he wanted to, you know, put his hands on her in the wrong way. And Kim, Kim no. took one of those court screws and ripped his wrist up and hit an artery. Jesus. And when she did that, he had to rush over to St. Luke's Hospital. <laughs> Kim Porter's kids are fed up with their mama's name being dragged through the mud online, with fans claiming their daddy Diddy allegedly had a hand in her passing. This wild rumor that Diddy ordered Kim's death has been swirling around social media for a hot Oh yeah, yeah, we talked about that. Minute. Things got extra spicy when Diddy got pinched and the feds dropped the bomb that he supposedly put out hits to cover his tracks. Whoa. You know, the internet ran wild with this, especially after whispers about Kim's memoir hit the scene. Quincy, Christian, Jesse, and Delilah are calling straight cap on these rumors and the memoir chatter, insisting their mom never penned a book and that she truly succumbed to pneumonia. But the fans ain't buying it. The streets are buzzing that did it. What do y'all think? Thumbs up. It does not make sense. And something weird happened. Thumbs down. Nope. Straight pneumonia. He might have put his kids up to this to clear his name. So what's really going down here? Did they just throw shade on their own family in that statement? Let's break this down, fam. It seems Kim Porter's kids ain't exactly on a mission for justice because they don't think there's any justice to chase down since they believe she wasn't unalived in the first place. Honestly, we can't be shocked by their stance. 
They've been writing for Diddy ever since his downfall kicked off. Despite all the receipts dropped by his accusers in those civil lawsuits and the feds breathing down his neck, the kids an awful lot of thumbs up. Kids are still ten toes down. Oh, except C Bomb on thumbs down, hoping, right? For him. Quincy included, even though he ain't got no blood tied to Diddy. The boys showed up at Diddy's court hearings when he tried to get Billboard got shut down. <laughs> Whoa. This clearly shows they're backing him through thick and thin. But here's the million dollar question. Are they still down for him knowing the streets are whispering that he might have unalived their mama? Looks like the answer is a mm. solid yes, because the kids just dropped a joint statement denying that Diddy had anything to do with Kim's passing and begging folks to quit spreading these wild rumors. The statement said, we have seen so many hurtful and false rumors circulating about our parents, Kim Porter and Sean Combs relationship, as well as about our mom's tragic passing that we feel the need to speak out. Claims that our mom wrote a book are simply untrue. She did not, and anyone claiming to have a manuscript is misrepresenting themselves. Additionally, please understand that any so-called friend speaking on behalf of our mom or her family is not a friend, nor do they have her best interest at heart. Oh, they Lord. continue, our lives were shattered when we lost her mother. She was our world, and nothing has been the same since she passed. While it has been incredibly difficult to reconcile how she could have been taken from us too soon, the cause of her death has long been established. There was no foul play. Grief is a lifelong process. And we ask that everyone respect our requests for peace as we continue to cope with her loss every day. We are deeply saddened that the world has made a oh, spectacle of what has been the most tragic event of our lives. Our mother Dang. should be remembered for the beautiful, strong, kind, and loving woman she was. Her memory should not be tainted by horrific conspiracy theories. They ended the statement with, we ask that everyone please respect our mother, Kim Porter, and hold her legacy in high regard so that she may rest in peace. It's what she deserves. We love you and miss you, Mommy, Quincy, Christian, Jesse, and Delilah. I ain't gonna front. Mm. My heart goes out to those kids, especially the twins, Jesse and Delilah. They're not just grappling with the loss of their mama. There's a real chance their only living parent could be facing some serious prison time. On top of all that, the rumor mill is wilting, whispering that their dad allegedly had a hand in their mom's passing. Mm. It's just too much to handle, and I can't even begin to imagine what they're going through. But on the flip side, fans are starting to think Diddy might have brainwashed them. Let's keep it real. Diddy wasn't exactly the best partner to Kim during their time together. His behavior was so out of control. Right? Control that and the stuff we heard last night, dear Lord. Kim had to start fighting back, even landing her in the ER. One night uh, when they were at home, at Kim's house on 110th Street, he wanted to, you know, put his hands on her in the wrong way. And Kim took one of those corkscrews and ripped his wrist up and hit an artery. And when she did that, he had to rush over to St. Luke's Hospital. Damn. It was a straight up toxic situation. And there are even reports saying he broke her nose. This article about the incident dropped some serious, Man, that is crazy, serious details. Though claiming that Diddy's temper was out of control and he wasn't holding back. Diddy Combs' girlfriend, Kim Porter, was left with a broken nose after the couple argued on Combs' yacht in St. Tropez. Combs flew in a specialist plastic surgeon from Geneva after the accident. Porter has since claimed that she hurt her face after she banged her nose on the table. It just keeps getting worse. You what? Wow. First, y'all, several insiders are saying Diddy even put hands on Kim's boyfriend after she moved on from him. An insider spilled the tea, reporting that Kim was seeing Shakir and Diddy found out and he went ape. He tracked Shakir down to his hotel. Then Diddy went up there without security and fucked him to a blood fucked him. pulp. Don't let the shiny suits and curls fool you. Diddy will. Wait, it doesn't have the the you part of that. Uh, and given what we know, a man up a few weeks later, Shakir mysteriously ended. It gets even messier, fam. 
Wait, what? Fingers were pointed right at Diddy when Kim passed, even though there's no solid proof he did anything. The twins were just little babies back then, so... Mm, Stella, thank you. They probably didn't grasp what was happening, but Quincy was old enough to witness some of it, which has fans scratching their heads over why he's still riding for Diddy, especially since Diddy ain't even his biological father. Either these kids have a money. an unbreakable bond with Diddy, or they've been seriously brainwashed. And peep this, y'all remember how the kids insisted Kim wasn't working on a memoir? Well, Kim's ex and Quincy's biological dad, Al B. Schur, is singing a different tune. In a series of explosive Instagram posts, he claimed that Kim's memoir manuscript and her laptop went missing the very day she passed, calling it a straight up F. He said Man. that D. Miss Porter's missing devices, allegedly already in evidence, unquestionably contained the critical evidence that had been concealed. I'm convinced that evidence corroborates closely with details outlined in the recently released public indictment document. Additionally, it is pertinent to note that the individuals involved in this matter may also be connected to also concealing the alleged fuck of several prominent artists, a situation that has left many bewildered, yet those who are immersed in the culture and familiar with the intricacies of the entertainment industry may have a clearer understanding of the obvious. While he also called out the so-called memoir making the rounds as fake, he insisted that Kim was definitely working on one and that she was allegedly fucked because of it. Crap. He wrote, unfortunately, Kimberly was taken away. Man, they didn't censor this out. Crap. Away from us too soon. And before she could complete her true thoughts before this fake unauthorized oh, edit released on Amazon, which the disappearance of her computer and vital evidence raises significantly more questions. It is evident that her potential to expose the realities of her personal being and human she was privy to, akin to the brave actions of Mrs. Cassie Ventura, pose a threat to those profiting from such heinous activities. In a nutshell, Kimberly was allegedly taken from us because she was set on course to accomplish what Mrs. Cassie Ventura did by igniting the bonfire, which brings us here today with the av yep. avalanche that has brought Satan to their chambers. Dot so comma, either Diddy's kids are out here covering for their dad, or they genuinely believe he's innocent of all the charges and mm. claims stacked against him. Fans have been buzzing, commenting, I understand they're hurt and in pain, but all of that stuff isn't a lie. In addition, would she actually tell her kids all about her love and a life? Of course she wouldn't. With all due respect to his family, right. their mother deserves justice. As does Pac, Biggie, Kid Cudi, Erica Kennedy, Ari O'Day. What happened to Kid Cudi? Usher, Justin Bieber, the darn list is endless. Let the investigation fall where it may. I'll be sure to say it himself. She was working on a book, so talk to your dad, Quincy. You also brainwashed that your dad extra mom out, and you all don't want to believe it. Then kids must be devastated. They already lost their mother now. Their dad and their whole lavish lifestyle. That's sad. I pray for them. Yo, man. I should have saw He told me he should have saw this coming with Cassie and the way he treated women when he slapped his mother. And I was like, he did what? Yo, I did it. He so my, he want receipts. Mom? Let's start with your mother. Nigga. Your mother got the receipts. Everything is in your mother's name. That's the one who got the receipts. He said, I'm whoa. I'm gonna drug them out. I'm gonna get them all on drugs. And I'm gonna pimp their ass out to my in the studio. He said, yo, I'm gonna drug their ass out and pick them. This is crazy. Them out and, and, and pimp them out to my <laughs> so difficult to reflect on. That's it. Yep. We, yeah, I saw that one. That is crazy as hell. The darkest times in your life. Sometimes you got to do that. I don't know if you've seen the darkest times yet. I was up. I mean, I hit rock bottom. But I make no excuses. My behavior on that video is inexcusable. I take full responsibility for my actions in that video. Disgusted. I was disgusted then when I did it. I'm disgusted now. <laughs> that seems like, oh man, I, 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 I'm going to fess up to this, but please stop there. Don't look any further. Don't look any deeper. I can't believe I did this one thing that one time and there's nothing else to see here, people. I went and I sought out professional help. Oh, wow. I had to go into therapy. 
what do you want a medal you did a responsible thing as a human being as an adult we had had asked god for his mercy and grace <laughs> we'll see so sorry sorry you got caught or sorry you did it but i'm committed to be a better man each and every day i'm not asking for forgiveness truly sorry and i know people gonna think that you know oh. yo this is all what gene wanted to see but now listen here man the devil got a purpose god got a plan do you understand what i'm saying the devil got the devil got a purpose god got a plan whoa this purpose but god got a plan you understand and it's all in god's plan man you understand to let people see because a lot of people wasn't believing that this stuff even existed brother a lot of people didn't even think that this was that you know catchy was telling lies gene been telling lies Lil Rob been telling lies. Everybody lying on Diddy. But Diddy told the truth. What's up, man? You good? I'm good. How are you? Right, young brother, everything's good? Definitely. Selling out arenas and everything? Yeah. Starting to act different, huh? No. You, you, ain't, you ain't been calling me and hanging out the way we used to hang out. Well, I mean, you haven't, I mean, you try to get in contact with me, you know, through all my, you know, big, you know, partners and whatnot. Mm -hmm. But you, you never really got my number, so. Right. Okay. Your number? Yeah, 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 yeah. My number. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You could indict a ham sandwich, but the Southern District of New York has a 98.2 conviction rate. All right. For those who don't know, if you got 100 people, only one point two eight or something like that, 98 point. You have 1.8. Only 1.8 has won against them. So now, what they do, they already oh, hell. got the witnesses. They already got the people. Because let me just say something. With the sex trafficking thing. Hex, whack, kick thing thing. Sorry, TikTok overlords, YouTube overlords. It don't Entertainment and educational purposes only. Man, I love the TikTok shop. Wow, YouTube has a shop now? That's crazy. I can't believe you can tag products on YouTube. It takes one witness to convince. Oh, you know, we got to like say things like that after they say words you can't say. It's the jury. Now, in 2020, Justin stopped talking to his pastor because he got caught cheating on his wife. He got accused of SA. Yep. Good save. Thank you. He's saying everything's not true, but he confessed to cheating on his wife on Instagram. And so Justin Bieber cut, up, cut him off. That's kind of scary, right? The way Justin was acting with this guy and now everything's over. Like we have no relationship whatsoever. Was there like, was Justin scared? Like, nah, I got to get away from this guy or something comes out about us. I don't know. And it's crazy to even talk about it like this because he's, this guy's a pastor. I basically said to myself, I'm like, God, if you're real, you get me through this season of stopping these pills and stuff. Pastor Carl Lentz, who at the time was also involved with advising a number of NBA stars, most notably Kyrie Irving. 21-year-old Justin is giving 15-year-old Justin advice. I was so innocent because I was innocent and I was young and I trusted everybody. And being young and innocent in this industry, it's not necessarily the, the best thing because people would take advantage of, of vulnerability. And so I think I was just Damn. in a place of just trusting everyone and, you know, thinking everyone was on my side and eventually getting burned. And now Justin Bieber made it a big F that he wanted to protect Billie Eilish, who was a huge fan of his growing up because she was also young coming into the industry. Oh, yeah. I remember hearing about he that. He was worried that she might be taken advantage of like him i just want to protect her you know it was hard for me being that young and being in the industry and knowing where to turn and everyone you know telling me they love me and you know, mm. just turn their back on you a second uh, people take for granted uh encounters and um i don't want her to 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 lose it i don't want her to go through anything I went through. I don't wish that upon anybody. Justin, he's in, you ever seen the movie 48 Hours? Right now, he's having 48 Hours with Diddy, him and his boy. Um, they're having the times of their lives, like, 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 the, you know, where we hanging out. Look at his face right there, y'all. Justin Bieber, he's like, uh, huh, did this man just say? What we doing? 
Um, we we can't really disclose. Yeah, because you go to prison. But um, it's definitely. Look at his face when he said that. Oh no, he's young right there too. How old is Justin right there? Like 16, 15, 14, 12? He's young as hell right there. I know that. Definitely a fifteen-year-old's dream. Um, Never mind, fifteen. Um, you know, I, I I have been given custody of him. You know, he signed the usher. Custody of him? How dare you? Just the way you said that is creepy as hell. Uh, I, I had legal guardianship of Usher when, when you know, he, he did his first album. I did Usher's first album. I don't really, I don't have legal guardianship of him, but for the next 48 hours, he's with me. So, uh, and, and, and we're going to go full, but full crazy. Yes. So who was with you this weekend? A bunch of my friends. Diddy, Quincy, Justin Bieber. So far, that's Montana. You should know half the people you're naming. No. You're on a plane at 30 a.m. I'll just party. I can barely hear that audio. Sorry, y'all. People that were, you would have loved it. Uh, two, 24 hours before the raid, Kim Kardashian decides to unfollow Diddy, right? Well, how the fuck oh, we just heard this find one. out? This person by the name of Lou Taylor is apparently Diddy's manager. Um, and this Lou Taylor woman is also on the board of Hillsong's church home. Follow me, go with me. They are doing all of this child in the name of the Lord. Why, just, just follow the story. Now, to cover myself, everything in this video is a legend, honey. This is what I digged up. And I don't know if, how much truth is to it. But there's reportings, okay? So everything that I'm saying is allegedly. Keep that in mind. So um, Lou Taylor apparently is paying off, allegedly, some of Diddy's victims from this slush fund through some church fund, okay? Not only that... Um, I'm going to skip ahead a little bit because we watched this one already. Kim Kardashian, mama, some of Diddy's victims. Working with Diddy at one point to get Kanye locked up in a conservatorship, just like what they did to Britney, so they could swipe his money. Yep, you heard that right. Kim and Diddy were supposedly behind a whole plan to paint Kanye as crazy so they could control his finances. And Oh, hell. Um, Kanye himself spilled that tea a while back, saying he was prescribed an insane amount of lithium, even though he didn't need it. They tried to medicate me. They, I was exhausted. They wrongly diagnosed me, and they... They, they, when I asked them, how much lithium did you want to put me on exactly? It took them four days to answer because they were embarrassed about the amount, right? Whoa. And I refused to take this, right? You understand that if I had taken the medication, I would not be here and it would have been, whoa, was, he was deeply troubled. We miss him. We love his music, though. Well, they would have Britney Spears, too. I mean, look at they what they put a Michael Jackson or, or worse. Yeah. So look, at, <laughs> so they did, look at what they did to Britney. When she went in, she was tired. She was exhausted. She was in a bad way. But 10 years of that medication wrecked her brain. You can see it now. Yeah. You can see there's not much of her left. They were trying to drug him up and make him look unstable just so they could get their hands on his coins. Sound familiar? That's his hands on his coin. Because Britney went through the same nightmare. She revealed in one of her court hearings that her own family intentionally misdiagnosed her and pumped her full of Many, lithium, you. all to make it seem like she wasn't capable of managing her own life or money. I would honestly like to sue my family, to be totally honest with you. Um, I also would like to be able to short share my story with the world and um, what they did to me instead of it being a hush-hush secret to benefit all of them. I want to be able to be heard on what they did to me by making me keep this in for so long is not good for my heart. Mm. Oh, by the way, you uh, TikTok, we got a bunch of people in here tonight. Hit the follow button if you're new. My name's Patrick. If you like true crime, we're live every night. Come over to the YouTube channel as well. Make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel. Just search The Mystery Project. You'll find the YouTube channel. We're live there right now. You can actually see the videos that we watch. Come on over to YouTube, y'all. Come on. You know you want to. Mystery project. I've been so angry and I cry every day. It concerns me. I'm told I'm not allowed to expose the people who did this to me. For my sanity, I need you to the judge to approve me. Do it, be, it, do an interview where I can be heard on what they did to me. And actually, I have the right to use my voice and take up for myself. My attorney says I can't. Um, it's not good. I can't let the public know anything. 
they did to me and by not saying anything is saying it's okay. I, I don't know what I said here. It's not okay. I would rush. Actually, I don't want to interview. I'd much rather just have an open call to you for the press to hear, which I didn't know today we're doing. They used that as an excuse to trap her in a conservatorship. And now it looks like they were trying to run the same playbook on Kanye. It's oh, hell. wild out here. And the connections are really shady. Also brought up the fact that Kim publicly supported Balenciaga and helped them promote inappropriate photos of kids. This disturbing photo shoot included six children holding teddy bears, wearing beach-esque bondage gear, fishnets, tights, leather harnesses, and chains. Also, one of the bears has a purple eye, implying a strange connection between children, sex, and violence. The bondage imagery was not only glorifying children's, but- Yeah, it was crazy. But it also has real eerie undertones of child abuse, Oh, hell no. And beating them. In a few images, the children were also surrounded by adult suggestive items such as in one of the photos, the duct tape reads Balenciaga, which many online made the connection to Bao, an ancient Canaan identity whom children were sacrificed to. Ba oh, dear God. Baby, it's a hot mess. A real hot mess. Ain't no wonder Kim has been quiet since this whole thing went down. She knows the feds are catching up to her and, and her family. And can we talk about the fact that Chloe literally admitted to seeing Justin at the freak off? That poor boy passed around like a piece of me and they got him addicted to all all kinds of that is crazy stuff by the time they were done with him mm. as usual people had their own thoughts like this person who said weirdly enough kanye has actually been speaking out against diddy for years sadly everyone just thought he was crazy that's why chloe became obsessed with weight loss in lamio had to be snatched for those parties another person said this is the most silent they've ever been it speaks volumes not only them but most of hollywood is pretty damn quiet but Right now, I want to know your thoughts. What do y'all think about Kim and Chloe getting exposed for being involved with Diddy? And do y'all think Kim and Chris were really helping Diddy to wash all their fried money with that fake church? But one former warden who worked at the facility says Combs's life could still be in danger there. The reports about Diddy allegedly facing harsh conditions and threats in what has been described as a hell on earth prison seem to be intense. Oh, that was the beginning of the video. They just replayed it at the end. Oops. Crazy editing. Uh but well that's it y'all that's all I had. YouTube hit the thumbs up button. Subscribe if you're new. TikTok. Do me a favor. Hit the follow button y'all. Thanks for that. We almost got the little hippo dudes. Thanks for that. Give me one last little push there y'all. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you for everything. I love you guys. YouTube, I'm going to go ahead and end it. See you guys tomorrow.